Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kadash. Double one to see the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Ayash Kabar from the GMS Virginia camp coming at you with another lesson that I pray that you find edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And uh, uh, I was on my way out the door, heading to camp, and, uh, you know, and decided, you know, to put a little lesson together before I head out, you know, because traffic is pretty bad around the time I leave to go to camp. Even though it's a few hours early, you know, traffic is, you know, it could get really bad down here. So I'm gonna put this lesson together, but uh, yeah, you know we are definitely in those times where things are about to get cut off and people are about to get shut off, and you know, and everybody's about to start bugging out, you know. Uh, uh, as much as I would like to bring out uplifting lessons, you know. Uh, as of lately, you know, my spirit hasn't been, you know, uh, um, um, you know, leaning towards that direction. Uh, you know, uh, um, my lessons have basically been, you know, a preparedness type of lesson, you know to get the people in the mindset or get the elect in the mindset of, you know, the things that are coming to pass because you're about to see two thirds, you know, go through it. You also are going to go through it, but not on the level that the two thirds is going to go through it. So, you know, uh, in my lessons, I pray that it's edifying that, uh, in a sense that you, that, you know, you hear the words that are being taught or what should I say preached, but also look at it from your perspective, you know, in that you're going to be in it as well, you know, so just prepare yourself for, you know, the things that you're about to see, you know, the people that you're about to encounter, because even through Jacob's trouble, you must re remain circumspect. Because the scriptures also state that knowledge and wisdom sh shall be the stability of that time. We're entering into a time where people are going to want direction. The people are going to want uh, 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 knowledge. You know, the people are going to want help. And you have to use s spiritual discernment, you know, to maneuver through this thing. Even though we know that Yahweh Shem Yahweh shall be our guide, you know. We also have to understand that the Lord also said, you know, to trust not in the guide. Um, as a matter of fact, let me get that because I got to get my apocrypha because a lot of people are going to be guided, you know, to, to their destruction. You know, it even says in the book of Matthew, you know, that, you know, the people are going to hear, you know, that the Lord is here and the Lord is there, you know, only to be led by or led into their own destruction. Um, let me see if I can get it, you know, about following out a guide. Um, I believe it's in the book of Sirach. Uh, chapter uh, uh, give me a second Baba Kishore see I 
thought it was in chapter 13. I thought it was in Sirach chapter 13, but it may be there, but you know, I don't want to. I might be in 12. Set my body, but uh, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyhow, um, it's in the book of Sirach, I believe, but you know, the scriptures tell you not, you, you know, to trust in, you know, every man, you know, trust in not every brother, trust not in your father, trust not in your mother or your sister, you know, because you have Hashem Shai. you know, it's going to make a variance between you and these people. So that's when knowledge and wisdom is going to be the stability of that time, you know, I mean, it, it was very important for you to get this information now before the evil days draw not, you know? And what's this information? You know, this information is for you to seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah early before the evil days draw nigh, you know? And that's what we, the prophets, have been out there warning you and telling you about, you know, seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah early. You know what I'm saying? It's like that wife that was unruly, you know, before the evil days come. Or or um I'm not even gonna say wife. It's about that woman who has been unruly because, you know, the times were good. But when the times start getting bad, then she wants to be good. Well it's already too late because you haven't established yourself, you know, to to, to the man that you know you, you were even worthy you know you know what i'm saying it's one thing to get right before the days are evil and it's another thing to get right because of out of pure necessity you know one is a want and the other one is a have to you know i hope that makes sense you know because we of the hopeful elect you know, we're, we're, we're seeking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai early because, you know, it's in us to do so. So when those evil days come, the Lord ain't going to sit back and say, well, now you want to, now you want to seek me early, you know, because you're going through this shit. Nah, you want to seek the Lord early before any of this, you know, starts going down. You know, so that he will know you, you know, he will know who you are before those evil days come. So um, enough of my rambling, you know, let me get on with the scriptures. The book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's what you're seeing. The love of many is starting to wax cold. You're starting to see the people being short tempered. You know, you're starting to see less of a tolerance of people dealing with bullshit. You know, a couple of years ago, you know, you had, you know, like these TikTokers making videos of doing pranks and shit in stores and stuff like that. Nowadays, people ain't going for it. You know, the people ain't going for these pranks in these days. Why? Because times are hard. The mindset of the people didn't change. You know, I was watching a TikTok where, you know, this Jake was in the store. And, you know, like at a supermarket and as the cashier was ringing up this man's food, the, you know, the young Jake was grabbing his food, you know what I'm saying? And, and the man who was paying for his food, he looked at the Jake, he said, yo, man, stop playing, put my food down, it's been a long day, I'm not in the mood for it. You know, and the Jake was like, so what are you going to do about it, you know? And the old man, or, or, you know, like the man who was buying the food was like, you know what, bro? You know, I'm carrying. Stop playing. You know? And at that point was when the Jake was like, it's a prank, it's a prank, it's a prank. Nah, people are not dealing with pranks anymore. The mindset of the people has changed. You know? Judgment is going out amongst these women. A lot of these women are being judged. And a lot of these women are starting to realize, well, hold up one second. Shit don't look right. Shit don't feel right. 
you know, those women that got sense about them. But, you know, you still got a lot of women who sit back and say that they don't need a man. Okay, keep that energy. Keep it right there. So when the evil days draw nigh, don't come yelling and crying to a man of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai for help. You know? Because the man of the Lord is going to see right through your bullshit. We already see through your bullshit. We already know what you're about. So keep that energy when those evil days come. Because if you're not humble now, in a, in the time of trouble, we know it's not because you desire us. Nah, you know, when those evil days come, we know that you are looking for protection. You know? Because the love of many is going to wax, wax cold. Even with the elect. Even with the men of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Yo, bro. The prophets are going to have a cold spirit about them. You know, they're going to have a very austere profile about them. You know, and that's what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is building up in his men even to this day. Because you're going to have to have a cold spirit about you to deal with the things that are coming. Because the love of many is going to wax cold. You're going to just. You're going to see judgments happening right before your eyes. And you're going to have to deal with that, you know? Because the men of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to have a totally different mindset, you know? The book of 2nd Nedra, chapter 16 and verse 18. The beginnings of sorrows and great mournings, the beginnings of famine and great death. You, you, you are right here. This is it. This is it right here. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The people are starting to mourn. The people are complaining and crying about how hard it is to live, even in these times. The people are mourning over the judgments that are going out at a very low level at this point, but it's slowly escalating. I can't even say it's slowly escalating. It's escalating. It's escalating until the point where even the people who are not in this truth are starting to recognize that something's going on. But they can't quite put their finger on it. The beginnings of famine and great death. And famine is it's here. It's here. All it takes is a light switch and a power outage away and shit would just go from sugar to shit. You're here. You're, you're, th this is it. You're at that door. The beginnings of wars and the power shall stand in fear. And this is the beginning of wars. What are you hearing? What's in the air? Every day. The war with Ukraine, the war with China, the war with Iran, the war with Afghanistan, the war with all of these things are going on. You know, and the next big thing that they're talking about right now is the civil war and the race war and the class war and the gender war. So you're here. This is it. The beginnings of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginnings of evils and evil is is constantly getting greater and greater. Here it is. You know, you're finding out about, you know, these, you, you know, these rings or these, uh, how can I say it uh, without throwing up a flag? Um, now you're starting to hear about how certain things were being sold in the black market, you know, that walk on two legs that are very young. You know, you're starting to hear about these things. That's evil, you know? You know? And it's gonna become more and more evil because that's not stopping, it's still happening, you know? Women are being snatched up in broad daylight and being graped in broad daylight. What shall I do when these evils come? Yeah, what are you going to do when these evils come? Because the scriptures say, Seek Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai before the evil days draw nigh. Well, if you're not seeking them before the evil days draw nigh, 
what are you going to do when those evils come? Because you're not going to be protected in those days. There's going to be a tremendous humbling in Babylon the Great amongst all people. Especially with you women. You women are going to be humble beyond, beyond a level of humbleness. You're going to learn to learn. You're going to learn to shut up. You're going to learn to... You're going to learn your place. You're going to learn everything. You're going to learn to learn. Which is something that you've never been able to do because you were given the... You were given the authority upon our to be the way that you are. Yahweh Shemiah said, I will make a new thing in the earth where a woman shall come past a man. You were given that authority to be the way that you are, but Yahweh Shemiah is going to snatch that shit right from one of your fucking feet. Mm -hmm. Jumping down to verse 3, the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, and verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong man shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of their windows shall be darkened. Yeah, right now you're about to. See. Right now we're we're also in the cusp of the great crash. You know the crash of 1929 ain't gonna be shit compared to the crash that's coming now. Because what's coming now is a totally new system that has never been in place before. At least with the crash of 1929, it maintained the same system, but it allowed these devils to go ahead and rob the people, you know, and put certain laws in place in order for, in order for them to have more control. Well, what's coming is a complete crash of the system and a new system being put in place, but it's not going to, you know, it's not going to, it's not going to succeed on a level that they think it's going to succeed because the enterprise shall not come into its fulfillment. You know, it's going to be there. You know, it's going to be in place. But Yahweh Shemiah is going to catch his ass while he's eating. So, you're also having to deal with a financial crash. You're also having to deal with people just not being able to afford what it is that they need to live a basic life. You see, Jake has always lived a below basic life. Jake's have always learned how to live in poverty. You know? So we're dealing right now. You know? We're, we're, we're floating right now. But, you, you know, you know these other nations don't know how to deal with this shit. Well, I, I can't say these other nations, but, you know, these Edomites who were grown here in America, they don't know how to deal with this shit because they've always had it so easy. You know, the, the they've had you know, they've always had a system that that they can prosper in. Well, that system is crumbling. And when that system crumbles, the Israelite woman is gonna crash right along with them. Verse four. And the door shall be shut in the streets when the grinding is low, and he shall rise up in, at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. When these businesses shut down, and these businesses are shutting down at a level that, again, these people just don't get. Burger King is closing stores, McDonald's is closing stores, Wendy's is closing stores, Pizza Hut is closing stores. Macy's and Gimbal's and Bloomingdale, you know, all, all of these department stores are closing up. Malls are no longer being called mall, malls, you know what I'm saying? All of these things are shutting down. And all of these things is being brought low and the music is just trash. The music is trash. You got to maintain a sense of nostalgia back into the 90s and even 80s in order to get good music. The book of Second Edges, chapter 16, and verse 32. And the earth shall be laid waste because it's going to get bad. It's going to get so bad that there will there won't be anyone out in the streets to maintain your lawn. There won't be anyone to grab the trash. There won't be anyone to fix your plumbing. It, it just won't be there because these people are just going to be straight out, out for themselves. You know, and if you get caught out there, you get caught out there. 
you know? You know, it's going to get so bad that those men who do have families might go out, you know, to try to find food for their families and never make it the fuck back home. And if you make it back home, your family ain't no good no more because somebody done broke it to your house when you wasn't there because they were watching you to see if you was going to leave so they could break it to your shit. So it's going to get bad. And these people just don't realize how bad it's going to get. But it's going to get terrible. And the earth shall be laid waste and the fields thereof shall wax old. Ain't nobody going to be mowing your fucking lawn. And her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns because no man shall travel there through. Ain't nobody going to walk on these streets the way that they're walking on the streets now. You know, because the streets are just going to be dangerous and these cities that are cities are going to be abandoned. They're just going to be abandoned if they shut the lights off in this motherfucker where I'm at and they turn the lights on in another place. Well, guess what the people will do? The people will start migrating to where the lights are. And they're going to abandon their cities to go to where there's security. That's, that's, that's just how the herd moves. That's just how the herd moves. And that's just what they've done. They've done things here in Babylon the Great to move the people out of middle America and and you know have them migrate over into the east coast of america or even the west coast of america to live that's where you see the greatest populations of the people living along the coasts well if they shut off the power in, in let's say maryland well the people start moving north to either pennsylvania or new jersey wherever you know what i'm saying the people are just going to go to wherever they feel safe and that safety is going to be your destruction. Scriptures say, woe unto them that go down into Egypt for help. That's going to be to your destruction. The, the book of 2nd Exodus, chapter 16 and 33. The virgins shall mourn having no bridegrooms. These young women ain't going to have no young men to take them as a bride. None. The women shall mourn having no husbands. And, and the older women are, are going to be crying because they ain't got no man there to protect them. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. A lot of these men are about to go to war. A lot of these men are about to get drafted. And when these men get drafted and, and you know, they go to these wars, albeit, you know, when Babylon... The great is invaded or, you know, they get transferred overseas. A lot of these women are just going to be left destitute. That's why the scriptures also say in the book of Isaiah chapter 4 and verse 1, seven women shall take hold of one man. A man of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because in that day, they're going to be seeking help. They're going to seek help. And in that day, they're going to want to learn to learn. Book of Second Edges, chapter 16, jumping down to verse 34. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed. Yeah, you know, in World War Three, these men are going to be destroyed. You know, in Babylon the Great, you know, when these other countries invade this place, Babylon, those young men are going to be destroyed. The scriptures tell you that. The scriptures is telling you that. And their husbands shall perish of famine. Like I said, a man might have to leave his family for a few hours to go out and seek food and actually never make it the fuck back home because either one, somebody saw him leave, either two, he got caught up in some shit looking for food and never makes it back home, and three, whatever. You know, without that hedge of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you're just destroyed, period, point blank. The book of 2nd Edges, chapter 16, going down to verse 35. Hear now these things and understand them. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is saying, hear these things and, and understand them. Understand what time you're in. Understand the situation that you're going to be in. Understand what's going on. Ye servants, ye servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Let me read that again. 
the book is the book of second Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 35 hear now these things and understand them ye servants of yahweh bashem yahweh Shai. so the lord is talking to the servants of yahweh of yahweh bashem yahweh Shai. understand what's about to happen understand what's about to transpire but in our understanding, we were also commanded to go out and warn the people of Yahweh Shem or young, or warn the people of Yasharala, as well as these other nations, what's about to come to pass, because their judgment is in this as well. You know, these other nations are about to get it as well, but Esau Edom is really going to get it because you're looking at the transfer of power. Not, as well as the transfer of wealth, you know? And so with that, you know, I pray that you find this lesson edifying and straight unto the point. And with that, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechachach, Adash, Double one to see the apostles of great millstone who rule well, peace and salutations unto the elect with the nation of Israel. Shalom.